This is our co-main event of the evening. Scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the Caged Aggression Professional Lightweight Division. Powered by La Quinta Inns and Suites. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. He stands five feet, nine inches tall, and weighed in at 156 pounds. He trains at Battle Horse MMA and is sponsored by Garden of Prayer Youth Center, Triple J's Rolling Video Games, Fly Above It Clothing, Apply Pressure Clothing, Shake the Fear Clothing, Marge Denage Clothing, and A Cloud of Smoke Podcast. Joining us from Champaign, Illinois, Nico Boom Boom Jefferson! And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands six feet tall and weighed in at 154 pounds. He trains at Summit Training Center and MMAG and is sponsored by Hearth Roofing and Construction, River Valley Motors, Sisler's Dairy Products, Luscious Painting and Supply, and Say Uncle Photography. Joining us from Milan, Illinois, Michael Battle Shit! And you can't get much better of a nickname than Battleship, right? I love it. <laughs> the Battle and Nico are about ready to do it right here in our co-main event of the evening. Look for a fast start from Nico. He likes to take the center and push you right back. He wants you behind that red line. And Chip almost looks like another human being from when I interviewed him at the weigh-ins, man. He's filled out so much. You know, that's another big part of the game. Being able to control that weight cut with your camp. So many factors going into this. Chip's definitely got the length on him. Ooh, big spin on that small leg kick very quick. Nico's got some powerful kicks. He's got tons of kickboxing experience, pro kickboxing. Yeah, it seems to be his bread and butter there. Let's see if he... Uh, See how this plays out here in the opening round here. Being very patient, trying to find the distance. Ship the longer fighter, steps in, overhand right, just misses. Front kick from Ship. Ship's chin's getting a little high. He needs, to, he needs to tuck his chin. I can't agree more, man. That is a very, very high chin. Oh, big overhand right, and that chin was high. He just jumped on it. Nico just took advantage of that. Ship needs to tangle him up and drag him to the ground. Jefferson backing up to the cage, small leg kick. Back to definitely the center. finding a home with those leg kicks. Leg kick return from Ship, goes to the body. Lower leg kick from Jefferson. Jefferson looking really calm in there. Very crisp, too. Ooh, big overhand right lands left. Ship trades back. Nico with some bad intentions on them strikes. Now they're over, that overhand right is coming through. I'd like to see a setup on it. I can't tell if Ship is hurt or if he's, it's just how he moves, you know? With that spin? Oh, yes. Well, he was spinning early, right? Oh, nice takedown. Got the old school big brother bulldog headlock going. They're in Ship's world now. He's going to try to isolate that arm and go for an Americana with his legs. Jefferson grabbing that wrist. Doing a good job trying to control it right there. But Ship across on the other arm, pulling it down. Trying to isolate it there. Trying to get the Dagestani handcuffs from the back. And he goes working his way back some up. Some shots right there. Trying to get his back here. He's got one hook in as he tries to get his back. Got plenty of time left here in this He's first round. Chin. Let's see. Nope, nope, not quite there. Fighting the hands. Tough position up against the cage here to do any flattening out or anything. But Certainly looking for that neck though right now. Ship's got some good submissions. And he's he's looking at oh, him wow. right there. Something happened. Oh, just making sure he didn't have him somewhere in the finger eye, in maybe. The eye. Finger in the eye. It was a finger in the eye as he went for it. Is this is this an injury timeout? Yeah, it's just an injury timeout. Okay. It's not the end of the fight. It was completely accidental. He was trying to slip that choke in, and while he did it, you know, Bruce, to his credit, saw it immediately. Well, this is good for Nico Jefferson. The fight's going to start back on his feet as long as his eye does recover. Have you ever been in that situation? I mean, everybody talks about the gloves and training. I'll, What's that eye poke like? I'll tell you what. When I fought Aaron Mitchell here for the belt, he punched me in the eyeball. In my eyeball, I, it, it was like stuck looking down for a second. Oh. Yeah, it was weird. It was like I was stuck looking at my like my right foot. So I like almost went blind in my right eye for a good like three minutes in the third round. It and was, it was terrifying. I Here just, it is right here. You look at it. 
he just kind of clamped down and he's trying to grab in. I'm yeah. sure it was terrifying, especially when you're in the middle of, I don't know, a fist fight. Well, yeah. and it looks like he was ready to lean back and get him flattened out as he had that rear naked going. Yeah, eyes are no joke, man. I thought, I literally thought my eyeball was ruptured. It's terrifying. All the horrible thoughts that go in your head. You're oh, like, my oh. God. Yeah. He said, eyes are no joke. <laughs> yeah. No, they are not. I'm putting it lightly. And they're looking at it right now. The doctor's in there. Again, oh, he's going to have five minutes to recover. We're going to see where this is go going. The doctor's looking. It's still pretty closed right now. Scratch corny or something. We would hate to see this oh, uh, my gosh. be the way the fight ends. But again, I mean, that you don't have much control over it. Either you recover or you don't. Either you're Brandon Jenkins looking down at your foot for three minutes, not even sure what's going on, grinding it out, or you're not. Man and when that happened, I mean, fight. again, that wasn't really a slip. I mean, that's a punch sometimes uh, that gets through the eye socket. Me. Yeah, he punched me straight in the eyeball. It was terrible. You know, you know, and to be honest, a lot of these guys don't get hit straight in the eyeball. I've probably been hit straight in the eyeball in, in 20-something fights probably like five times. Like, if it, the glove just doesn't fit in there, you know? Yeah, so. most of the time, yeah. right? You but. have an eyebrow for a reason. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nico having a tough time keeping that eye open. Doctor taking a close look at it. This is the last way uh, way that uh, Nico Jefferson that wanted this fight to end. Just be tragic. Especially when things are going good for him on the feet, you know. And if they restart, they're going to be back on the feet anyway, so. <clears throat> Maybe it's going to take the full five minutes and restart. Bruce over there making sure. He's telling him, keep his hands clear of the eyeballs. Doctor's taking a close look, still talking to him. Remember, the fighter's safety is of the utmost importance. Without we don't want him getting in there, not being able to see. Well, yeah, especially fighting. You, know, you can't see the can't see the shots coming. That's definitely dangerous. I mean, no, thank you. You know, this yeah. isn't a karate movie, folks. There is right. no zen. You, you're going to want to have your uh, hands up at all times. You're going to be able to see. It's tough. He's still looking. Certainly not giving up. Yeah, this, this is what we, we talked about blood sport last night. Chung Lee threw the powder in Van Damme's eyes and... He still kept, kept fighting, even though he was blind. Yep, that's called Hollyweird. Yes. That's not reality. Cool, Mate. Cool, Mate. Still deserves a remake. Let's do it. Like I told you, you got something in the works, baby. It's opening up a little bit, but it's still very, very closed. Who's keeping an eye on that five-minute timer? It's not looking promising right here, folks. I got to tell you. I hate to be the be uh, the bearer of bad news, but uh, right now, I don't know if this fight's going to continue. He's finally getting it open, but it's not staying open. Looks like he's going to go for it. Let's see what we got. Awesome. No punk in Nico Jefferson. He's ready to go. I hope the, I hope the eyes are right, man. Yeah. 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 You want to be able to see with uh, Michael Ship's got some awkward movement, some awkward striking. You know, you want to have that eye open. Every Bruce Allen has he has five minutes, but can't be can't be five left right now. His corner's telling him if you can't do it, don't do it. Doctor's going to take a real good look at that eye. He's probably going to make it make the decision right now. Man, that is tough. Doctor asked if he can open it. Doesn't sound like he can open yeah, it. Yeah, oh. Jefferson. Yeah, no quit. And uh, oh, unfortunately, man, tough gonna one. Call Michael it. Battleship not cool with that decision. But so, like you said, JB, fighter safety, fighter's health is the utmost important. You know, either we have a DQ or a no contest here. Um, That'd be a no contest. I would hope it's a no contest. Uh, you know, it was completely inadvertent going for that choke. That was unfortunate. Yeah, man. it's very disappointing for the co-main event of the evening. But these guys were going at it too, man. I wouldn't blink for the main, I'll tell you that. No pun intended. Not with the big boys. No, no, no. Not with Mota and those big, big hands. And Cedric Savage says, no, not me. I'm coming with the Thunder myself. And these guys were just getting started too, man. Hopefully they'll rebook it in October. Is that when the next one is? October? I'm not sure. I have not heard anything That's about it. another card. Probably if something I had this my summer. way, we'd be doing it next week. You know? My good one. Keep it going. Next I month. kill a little bit because, you know, it, it takes a lot. Tell them, bring back the Challenger Series, right? Yes, absolutely. Let's stay busy this summer, Al Jefe. Man, I mean, it's, it's, it's tough anyway for a co-main event to end like this, but these guys having to have it postponed for a year, Michael Battership getting back into the groove of things. Oh, so geez. disappointing on so many levels. I'm glad he's active again, though. 
Yeah, for sure. I don't want to be like a scratch corny or, you know. Hey, nope. Looks like they're going to Vargas right now. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee Bruce Allen called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes 20 seconds into round one, resulting in a no contest due to an accidental finger to the eye. I mean, it happens, man. This isn't ballet. To the square dancing. A bit disappointing, but what can you do?